we gotta go to a pawn shop and find me a deer gun. So deer season's actually coming up pretty soon. It comes up in about three weeks, so it's a good idea to, you know, try to find a gun now. What Mine and Bingo's plan is to go to a round to a pawn shop, try to find a budget deer gun at one of these random pawn shops. You ready? Let's We're about go. to go on our first one. Here we go. Also, big thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Hello. You care if we uh, film just a little bit looking for a gun? Okay. Okay, guys, it didn't go to plan. We walked in. Can we film? No. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, it didn't help. He had like four guns. Literally, he had like four guns. He had four guns up on the wall. <laughs> we got kicked so. out immediately. We didn't really get kicked out. He just didn't want us filming. Anyways, we're going to another pawn shop. Hopefully, we'll find something somewhere, or this may be a really hard video to film. All right, Bingo, you ready to go to Walmart? Walmart kicks us out. I don't know, guys. We got problems. We're looking for a decently budget. 308. That's what we want. There's some for 199, but that's a 22, so that ain't gonna work. Listen, Walmart ain't really got the best selection. Just gonna let you know. 30 alt 6 for 357 with the scope. That's not a bad deal, but I really want a 308. I don't know, guys. We'll keep looking. I don't think Walmart's the move. Okay, guys. Well, Walmart didn't have anything, uh, but we did buy a TV. Don't ask questions, guys. Just go along with it. Ah, oh, there we go. Will it fit? No. Dude, the TV won't even fit. <gasps> yeah, this ain't fit. Hmm. All right, guys, this doesn't have anything to do with this YouTube video, so uh, we'll, we'll catch you at the next pawn shop. So you guys want to know what it's like riding around with candle gray? It's just literally this. Just me and him listening to a radio on the road talking. All right, now we're heading into Badwoods, guys. If they ain't got it, no one does. We need help. All right, here's the thing. We were looking for 308 deer gun this is probably known as the best really one for the money that's like a value deer rifle. what is it the tc compass how long is the bear but you can put a muzzle brake on it too 22 inches and i do want it short too good option man. what do you think i like it is this the move especially for you because you'd have a lot of fun with that man. right no what other options do we got here? You want an interesting one. Okay. <laughs> That's the chipmunk. That is interesting. I don't know if we killed deer. No. Hmm. Ooh, the only other shorty that I've really got that, is 16 That and a would half be inch. cool. What Which, caliber is that? 45 Colt. Deal. we we'll take it. Oh. oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, guys, so uh, we still didn't find one, but here's the deal. I'm pretty dead set on what I want, okay? I want a bolt action, 308, very short barrel, compact bull bear. That's not exactly easy to find. So what we did, we actually ordered one. It's a 20-inch barrel. It's 308. It's a scout rifle. The bad thing is that it will take a few weeks to get here, but that's okay. We got some time. I will pick you guys back up in a few weeks whenever it gets here. It's going to be pretty sweet. <laughs> My gun's still ain't here yet. Okay, guys, we're back at Badwoods, and uh, the gun's in. So let's go pick it out, guys. It's almost like exactly what I was looking for, so I don't know. Let's go get it. Uh, savage. The 110 tack. Got the shorter barrel, fluted barrel, redded barrel, and two-tone. That way it's not completely black. What do you think about it? I like it. I do, too. It's got the AccuStock with it, so yeah. it comes with all of the spacers. Oh. So that's super nice. Um, comes with your 10-round mag. I don't know much about Savages. Pull your... This? Yep. Push down. it straight down. Pull your mag out. All right, we got closer that time. Okay, now we're getting closer. There we go, it's in. Okay. It comes yeah. up pretty high, don't it? Yeah. What is it 90 degrees, probably? Yeah. I'd say so. Which I was thoroughly surprised. With what? Just by the bolt. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I actually, we had a SWAT guy in here earlier. Yeah. And he's seen it as we were putting like it out. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, that would be super nice for the teams where it's so compact and yeah. light and just that bolt and everything on it. So super nice i'm about to go break it in listen guys if you're ever in corbin stop by badwoods check them out anyways here is the gun we put a real nice scope on it hey kendall who makes that scope i don't know probably kg optics listen guys these scopes are up on the website kendallgray1.com shop as well as this t-shirt give them a check out guys this is called the kg beehive shirt but without further ado guys let's get this thing started a little bit more of an overview about this gun okg oh, he wanted a short barrel 308 bolt action and that's what he got barrel length 20 inches threaded barrel in case you want to put a muzzle brake on it it comes with a mag just in case you want to switch or you know put a big mag in it or something savage 110 and it shoots a 308 winchester which is perfect because it's one of the most popular calibers in the world and it can take down almost anything that walks that's the best part because i plan on taking this thing all around the country maybe even the world probably not the world because i think it's legal anyways we're gonna send a few shots down about five of them to break it in then we're gonna sight it in at 80 yards Load, us, load the Mac for us, bingo. Nice. 
It's ready to go. All right, put on your pro real quick, and we'll go ahead and send down the first few shots. What we got to do is we actually got to break it in because it's a brand new gun. If you don't know about brand new guns, you do have to shoot them a few times just to like wear out the uh, brand new grooves in the barrel. I think even if I didn't break it in, it would still hit in a pretty consistent place. But just to make sure, we are going to shoot it a little bit. Ready? All right, it don't kick bad. That's good. Here's another shot. There we go. Last one. All right, now we're actually going to start shooting it at the box. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, big shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video, but they're actually having their biggest sale of the year where you can get 30% off and a free camera. Now, if you don't know, Simply Safe is a 24 hour security system. Not only do you get the standard security cameras like most security systems, but you also get extra stuff like breaking glass alarms, motion detectors, door openers to where you know you can see whenever a door's open or a window's open. Simply Safe is monitored 24 7, and whenever something does go wrong, they call the police immediately. Now, right here, I was about to tell you why you should maybe protect your house, but then I thought about it and uh, it's pretty self explanatory. My favorite part about Simply Safe is how it's pretty easy to set up. It's completely wireless except for a few just for power i mean it's pretty simple here's what it looked like with all of my stuff you have the big base thing that's like the home base then of course you have the cameras you have some of the smoke alarms the brake alarms all that good stuff bring it on robbers you can try I guess. Like I mentioned a minute ago, if you want to sign up with Simply Safe now, use my link right here, and that's how you're going to get the 30% off and the free camera for the holiday deal. This link's down in the description and also the pinned comment, so go on down, check it out, guys. Don't miss out. Protect your home so no one else can take your stuff. Especially during Christmas. That'd be really sad. Now back to the video. What do you think about it, Bingo? It has some power to it. I, I, uh, when you hit that target, was the ammo in the middle? Yeah. Oh, you was? Let's go check out. I mean, I don't think it hit the middle, but I was aiming at the middle. I want to go check. If it hits in the middle, that's, I don't know. I don't think we got much work to do. <laughs> I want to be able to hit a quarter, though, so we definitely have a lot of work to do. If this gun can't hit a quarter at 100 yards by the time we get done sighting it in, I don't know if it's the gun for me. I mean, of course, a quarter's pretty good. Maybe two quarters. But listen, I need this gun to be able to hit anything. If I'm going to be shooting a prong war with this thing, I want to be able to hit exactly where I'm aiming. Them little things ain't too big anyhow. But today, and in this video, we're going for white-tailed deer. And let me just say this. The place that I'm hunting, already been there, already scouted. It's on the top of a mountain. And if you know about top of mountains in Kentucky, there's a lot of trees. And I scouted it out, and there's a good chance I'm going to have to make a really clean shot. And what I mean by clean is like between some saplings. Where'd it hit, Bingo? Did it hit the middle or what? Should be the freshest hit. So a little bit to the left. That's all right. We'll figure that out. I'll load two in the mag because that's the group of bullets I'm going for. Just in case you're not aware, there is apparently a 308 shortage in America. These were some of the only ones I could find, and they were like a dollar eighty a shot. So my goodness, this is an expensive video. We're live. I'll get on target, and I'll try to do a countdown, but, you know. We should be shooting at 80 yards, so that's perfect sighting in range for Kentucky Mountains. I thought you said you were counting it down. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Let's go check it out. We got consistent shots, I know that. I'm super happy with that gun that it doesn't kick like the 50 cal. The 50 cal bruised me after three shots. I was aiming inside the C, so it needs to come down that much. We'll turn it down 10 clicks, and then by doing math, which I learned in eighth grade, we should be able to figure out how many more clicks and sight it in in four shots. <laughs> but hey, stick around, because after we get done sighting it in, we're gonna try to blow up some fruit, and then obviously by the end of the video, we're gonna try to kill a deer too. Ready, Bingo? Yep. Should be able to turn it down 30 more clicks and we should be gone. Yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and side it in and then we're gonna shoot some fruit. These bullets, they're not just plain 308. They're actually hollow points. So whenever they go in, they really expand. And we'll try to see what it does with some fruit. Alrighty, guys, right out there, we have a milk jug and two apples. We're about to split them open. Now we do have the scope cam rigged up on the rifle, but we're also gonna have the super slow motion lens. This is gonna be epic. Are you ready, Bingo? I guess. Is it recording yet? Oh, uh. Red light flashing? Yeah, the lower light, yeah. So it's staying recording? Uh, there's a red dot in the... Is it flashing? Okay, guys, the scope cam won't turn on, so you're, this is all we're going to get. All right, let's just shoot it. Yeah, that's basically all we got. Well guys, I was just sitting here, it's about 
10 hours till deer season. Out here getting little Bomba out, making sure she's happy, loading her magazine, making sure she feels comfortable. But I was just thinking, what if I pull out my phone and show you what we're actually after? Because I don't think I've showed y'all the bucks that I've been watching. We got some big ones. Wall hangers. That's what they are. All right, 10 round magazine. So that should stop a bunch of deer if and a bunch of bears and a bunch of people and you know, whatever else comes in my way, let's be honest. I'm going in a pretty sketchy spot. So little Bomba's 10 round. Go ahead and set me quiet, okay? I'm gonna make a video. This first one I'm gonna show you, don't get too excited, but his name's Lil Bambi. He's a big one. He really is. He's a wall hanger for sure, but uh, he's, he's a thug. This one's name is uh, L or 11. She's pretty nice too. Now you may be saying, Kendall, dude, that's not a she, that's a he. You have to ask him that. I don't want to assume. Then we also have this one right here. His name's Dave. He's decent. Honestly, probably not a wall hanger. Then we got these two, and these are pretty good. I'm gonna name him Walrus and Wallace. Here's Wallace. He's pretty solid. Honestly, that's pretty solid deer, bro. Like, look at those. Look at the look at the brow tines. They're pretty tall. But that's Wallace. That one's Walrus. He's pretty similar, but his brow tines aren't as big, and uh, I think he's a little bit not as wide. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'm gonna catch you guys in about ten hours, maybe eight hours. And uh, yeah, we'll try to kill a deer. Ah. All right, guys. It's the next morning. Just in case you haven't figured it out yet, it is hunting season now. She's ready. She's been hungry. She's ready to eat. 308 all the point. Gotta put them down, son. Put your teeth in the drywall. But yeah, guys, I'm basically just gonna sit here and, uh, about, probably about it. Jumping into the video right here to tell you about the Black Friday sale on kennelgrade1.com slash shop. Right here is just some of the deals, but we're doing we're doing really big deals for Black Friday, guys. The cool thing about the Black Friday sale is it's going to go through Cyber Monday. So we're going to be this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh yeah, and today's Thursday, so we're going to run the sale today too. But all this good stuff over here, there's a lot of things. Probably my favorite is probably the tackle boxes. They're really cheap. But enough talking, guys. If you want to check it out, kennelgrade1.com slash shop. First link in the description. I'll get back to the hunting. Let's go kill a deer. Yeehaw. All right, guys. About 30 minutes. I finished him right there. A little far back, but he still got it. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet. That way I can kill a deer. Okay, guys, so my cousin is actually down there, and he just texted me and said, there's a dude walking up the road, and he said to kick him out, because, I don't know, he's not supposed to hunt here, I guess. Yeah, there he goes, he's right there. Right through there. He saw my cousin, and now he's just heading back out. I don't know, man. Welcome to Kentucky. Okay, guys, the guy's coming back. I don't know what he's doing, but he's just he's just walking around. Okay? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I ain't seeing anything anyhow. He may or may not be the reason. Okay guys, it is the evening. We left the last location. Not me or my cousin actually seen anything at all. Now I'm out here where both me and Mammy killed our crossbow deer. Plan is just to sit here, guys. I mean, it's called hunting for a reason. It's because you hardly ever kill anything. There's a pretty good chance we don't kill a buck this year. I mean, we've only got 492 hours and 18 minutes and 12 seconds later of deer season. I don't know guys, it's cut it close. Anyways, I'm gonna be quiet and uh, sit here for like eight more hours. I can't kill a dog because, well, I've already tagged usually runs in a gang of three big does, but I killed one of them and Mammy killed one. So kind of sad. We kind of just, we kind of just killed that, all that does friends. Like we literally just wiped out her whole squad, but hey, that's part of it sometimes. I'm sure she'll figure out her life, hopefully. Okay guys, 
listen, let me just tell you before we start this day hunting. I know on this I know in this video you've only seen like three days of hunting so far, but I've been hunting for a week and a half, every single day, sometimes twice a day, and I've literally only saw one doe all gun season. And it's weird, because it's supposed to be the rut, and it kind of doesn't make sense at all, but I don't know what I've been doing wrong, but I've just not had much luck, but I promise I put in the time. I'm about to fall over dead, guys. I'm so tired. But I'm up in a new stand today. We can see everything. We can even see the goats right over there. And then right over there is the underground bunker. We ended up putting brand new grass on top of it, and it kind of turned out to be like a food plot, okay? For some reason, the deer like that for good grass. So we can see all of that. We can see the entire rest of the field, even the shooting range. They don't care. You can see down the hill a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Got the pawn shop 308. I am tired, guys. Like, I'm about to pass it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And I got this real nice chair. We're in good shape. But one thing that I've not told you is that, yes, I have only seen one deer while I've been hunting. However, my guineas need to be quiet. I'm trying to make a but last night I actually came up here just to look around because I hunted way over there somewhere. And there was eight does in this field yesterday evening. Now I know what you're saying. You know, dude, you can't hang a doe up on a mantle. Yes, you're right, technically. The does bring in the big boys. And that's what we can hang on a mantle. You can't eat antlers. I don't care, dude. If I eat a coyote, I can eat anything. I can eat it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet, and if something pops out, I'll show you. Or shoot it. One of those two. Okay, guys. We got three deer moved into the foot plot, aka the top of the underground bunker. They appear to all three be toes. But the cool thing is just keep in mind, guys, they're standing on top of my underground bunker. I could literally be sleeping directly under them if I wanted to, and they'd have no idea. But it's really cool because that was kind of an unintentional food. Because it used to be just dirt, and then we had to put the seeds back over it, and now it turned out to be the best grass in the whole field. Meanwhile, Steve knows exactly what's going on, and is making sure they don't do anything suspicious. Oh, there's a fourth one. It also appears to be a doe. That's pretty good, because that's the most deer I've seen all gun season. I don't know. Hopefully Big Buck wants to come out and well, I'll tell you what, guys, I don't know. It's just not going to happen in this video. I want you guys to subscribe if you're not already because I am going to try my best to kill a deer with that gun by the end of rifle season. But so far, it's just not happened. So go ahead and subscribe, guys. Hit the like button. Don't forget about the Black Friday sale. Check it out, guys.